There's some good stuff which have happened because of COVID, but let me, let me, let me keep going. Something called affinity, the brand love. Uh, we got a call from Geopol. They said, what do you do to your audience? Right? And we said, why? They said, your affinity level is way too high. When people tune in, they stick in there for a very long time. But it's because we are, honestly, we are bold, we are cool, we are different, we like to tell our story. Whether you say it well, be yourself, be authentic, tell your story. And that's what we do. We're not ashamed. If you look, the first bar here, this was a research done by Tifa. Tifa, have, um, they do research using your phone. You, they put an app, then it picks what you're, what you're listening to. And last year, to be very sincere, they presented this, and the entire room went crazy. They're like, no, these guys are new. How can they be number one? And at the same time, there's a station here with the 5.5. One FM, we just acquired their frequency, so we were there as well. So if you add 5.5 plus a 10.1, it tells you where we are. Now, we've been leading the 18 to 24, and you know, with a, with a, with a bit of a stretch for a while. Um, and this has not been just because we came in and we are nice, we are cool but we came in with a disruptive idea that we've been able to sell to the market and the market has accepted. We don't just sell airtime, right? We sell at 360. Digital, we're very strong. On ground, very strong. When you see our cars somehow, whether there's hazards or not, you'll just, there's some crazy guys who are passing. And our audience, they love that. The young guys really want to feel the cool factor. When we're on air, we have only one professional presenter. When I say professional, meaning she went to school, studied being a presenter. All our other presenters are content creators. Thanks to Mr. Bellwood and Jeroge, who trains them every day. All right? And apparently, our audience really enjoys listening to them a lot more. We've, we've tried some professional guys who will come and, you know, take over the airwaves, but the audience just wants our content creators. They have done very well. So, COVID is here. It's been crazy. A couple of people have, business have closed, honestly. But there are people who have thrived in between the COVID period, right? From that day, a um, couple of our companies have been on freeze. I was told not closed down, on freeze. So we've not been able to do events, we've not been able to engage as we used to. But we've used the other side of the business that had something that we can actually at hand, something we can use to continue engaging. But globally, we can say, and, and I was just looking, um, in the US, the alcohol sales went up by 55% in one week. <laughs> All right? Europe as well, it went up like crazy. I mean, the online shopping and all that is huge. Zoom. We used to do Zoom meetings with EABL all the time, but it was nothing, it was, okay, which one? Zoom, okay, fine, we'll jump in. Now last year, Energy doubled her numbers as a station, right? And right now we're at the number four radio station in Nairobi. It is something that I was warned before I got into media. I was told, you'll make money after three years, you will stick down there, but we knew with a disruptive innovation idea, thinking about radio that in a different manner will be able to take us forward. We all know small businesses have been making sanitizer. Some of you, maybe you've made sanitizer the back of your you know, uh, home, selling masks. What else have you guys done? I mean, just, just be honest. Packed food, trying a new idea. Over 80% of the small SMEs have tried something different, which is good, all right? But um, there's some gurus here who have disrupted our minds again, globally, because they had also a different idea from before. It's just been amplified. So what's the difference between these guys and these other guys that really suffered? It's, there's a level of mindset, all right? And... It's all about innovation. So today, if, if I miss a few words, 
there's a word innovation must be. It's what you take home, all right? And innovation is all about its assumption versus the first principle of thinking. I want us to do a small exercise in, in 10, 20 seconds, just with your eyes only. Can you show me from that maze how you think you can get out there? And I'll just ask one person who thinks they know. I mean, just whoever thinks knows how to get there the, the fastest possible. Anyway, show me. Right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. Perfect. <laughs> that's the map. That's, that's how the guy went. Right? It's fantastic. That's, that's how this thing is made to be. It's always, we all know, when, when it all starts to finish. But could there be a different way? Okay. There you go. Okay? <laughs> it's there. It's, I mean, he didn't think about it. He just knows this is the start. That's the finish. Could there be another one? Okay, I know there's another one. There's another one. Yes, I know. Could there be another one? Okay. I think there's another one. And this is where we call the disruptive innovation. It doesn't matter the rules, all right? You just go straight. It's the easiest, shortest. Woof, you're there. All right? You may say, no, the rules say, you say it, get to the start to the end. All right? And most of us in our business, we are stuck because we know you have to do like this. You have to go to the bank, apply for the loan, wait for an approval, negotiate. Yet, there's someone seated here with the funding, willing to extend the money, but simply because you don't give some shares, you want to go through the no more long route. Now, if you look at um, globally, one of the guys, my heroes, is um, Elon Musk, Tesla. Today, if you have a product that you know you can push in the market, okay, good quality, accessible to your audience, and affordable to your audience, I guarantee you success. But most of us get in the market with the wrong step. We're getting in the market to say, I have a good idea, I'm gonna make money. It's not about making money, it's about solving a problem, being able to reach your audience, being able to solve a problem. Now, for us as business leaders, we must be able to have that culture of wondering. And this culture of wondering is, we need to find what next. We should not be relaxed simply because now we've, we've gotten the expansion plan to where we want it to be. We have to find the what's next. And people honestly invest in what's next, right? And that has to be our lives as business people. We must be willing to experiment, to try new things. You know what that comes with? It comes with some losses come with some gains. So we must be open for that. There is a lot of risk related to every entrepreneur. I tell people, being an entrepreneur, there's some days you feel like you're chewing glass. Now chewing glass, you know when you chew glass, it's gonna cut you, it's gonna be hard going down, it's gonna be hard coming out. But we still do it anyway, right? There are those days you wake up and you do not want anything to do with the business. You want to take off. And maybe I'm alone, but I believe the few friends that I have, and even myself, there are those days that you wake up. But there has to be something that pushes you forward. And I believe without a doubt, if you put a mindset of always having a disruptive way of doing things, you'll always be encouraged to wake up and move to the next thing. So how do you differentiate yourself? Number one, capture value. 
And I'll give you an example. When COVID hit, we sat down quickly and we said, we have media here. We have 14, 14 minutes every day playing music uh, with an audience that love what we do. What do we do? We blasted an email to all our clients and we said, listen, we'll give you free media, okay, for two weeks. Give us a script and we'll, we'll hook you up. We were overwhelmed, all right? We got so much request. We took as much as we could, right? But what was very critical is we went out to visit a couple of people who, who I need, and those same clients gave us a lot of product to go out. We didn't have to spend more money. And, and sometimes there's what you have, but you feel is not sufficient. But you have to think about it differently. You don't have to hold on to it consistently. Create new products. As a business leader and proposition that you're taking, try your level best to be number one, two, three. If it goes past four, disrupt that idea, tweak it, give it an, a different niche. If you're too far off, even when you're doing your valuation for your business, it becomes a bit harder. But when you're in the top three, top three, okay. Beyond there, it becomes a bit crazy. Um, marketing. You have to talk about yourself consistently. Tell your story. Social media, on air, do strategic partnerships, it's possible. You don't have to pay for everything. You don't have to spend money in everything that, 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 that you're doing. Make sure you have innovative ideas. This guy should never see you coming. Have a couple of things behind you in case of anything you're able to navigate, all right? And ensure that you have a competitive advantage with whatever line you're trying to choose. This is one of the things, this morning you guys have decided, you've come here, you're investing in yourself. Be a machine learning. Understand that whatever you're doing today, tomorrow might be different. So what's tomorrow? Have that ability of wondering what actually will come tomorrow. Don't just play the game. Come in and change the game.